Alright, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a custom health bar in Roblox Studio so the player can see how much health they've got all the time. So, first thing we're going to do is install a GUI, we're going to insert a screen GUI, and then we're going to call that health bar, and then I'm going to turn on ignore GUI inset and turn off reset on spawn. Now in this health bar, I'm going to make a frame, and I'm going to call that frame main frame. And then I'm going to set the size to 0 0.3, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then I'm going to move it down to the bottom of the screen. And in fact, now I'm going to change that to 0 0.2. And then in this main frame, I'm going to add a UI stroke. And I'm going to make it a thickness of 4. And then I'm going to add a UI gradient. And I'm going to make the background of this red. I'm going to make it almost fade from one colour of red to the other so it looks a bit better. And then I'm just going to close out this UI gradient. And in this main frame now, I'm going to click the plus and add another frame. And I'm going to call that green because this is going to show how much health the player has. I'm going to set the size of that to 1,0,1,0. And then in that, I'm going to take this UI gradient again, duplicate it and put it in green. And then I'm going to change it to green. And now I can show you that this green will change the size of its how much is show how much green is shown based on how much health the player has. So currently now I'm going to set the green to zero on the x-axis because the player doesn't necessarily have health when it loads. And then another thing I'm going to add in the main frame is a text label to actually display the exact amount of health the player has. So I'm going to set the size of that to 1,0,1,0. 0, 0, 0, 0. So it takes up the entire bar. I'm going to give the background transparency of 1. And I'm going to turn on text scaled. I'm going to turn the font face to Ubuntu. And the style to bold. And I'm just going to make it say 0 HP. Because the player doesn't have any health currently. And now we're going to start scripting it. So in mainframe, I'm going to click plus, And I'm going to add a local script. And I'm going to call this local script help script. So now we're in the script, I'm going to create two variables. I'm going to say local green brain equals script.parent.green. And I'm going to make a variable for the text label. So local label equals script.parent.text label. So for changing the size of this green, we're going to use tween service so it's smooth and it changes smoothly. So if we go back into the script, we're also going to make a variable called local tween service equals game colon get service tween service and then we're also going to need tween info so info whenever the size of it changes so I'm just going to pull that info set that equal to tween info dot new and now we're going to enter some properties for the tween so we're going to enter time easing style easing direction and if it repeats if it reverses and if there's any delay so for the time I'm going to set that to 0.5 and then a comma then for easing style, I'm going to have it enum.easing style dot sign. And then another comma. And then easing direction, enum.easing direction dot out. And then another comma. And repeat count, we don't want it to repeat, so zero. Reverses, do we want it to reverse? No, so set that to false. And another comma. And is there any delay time? No, we don't want that, so you can set that to zero. So, now what we want to do is every one second... If the player has a character, we want to get their health, and we want to change the health bar. So, I'm going to have an infinite loop. So, while wait one, do. This code will run every one second. So, if game.players.localPlayer.character, then. So, if the player's got a character, then. We're going to make a variable for the player's current health. So, local current health equals game.players.localplayer.character.humanoid.health so that's the player's current health so now we've got the player's current health we need to make a size, we need to convert that current health to be a size for this frame here so we want it to be, for example if the player has 50 health we want it to be half, so 0 0.5 but if the player has 75 health we want it to be around 3 quarters, so 0.75 and if the player's got a quarter, 0.25, you get the point. So, how we're going to do that is say local 
new frame size so that equal to udim2 dot new and then in here we need four numbers so scale for the x that's a number between 0 and 1 that says how long is it on the x axis so for this we want the current health divided by 100 so say the player has 50 health the bar will be 0 0.5 size then just a comma and 0 and then for the y we want it to be 1 so it's the full size on the y and then 0 and now we're going to make a tween so a tween that plays to change the size of the frame so we're going to call that local tween tween service colon create pair of brackets and the instance that we're changing so we're going to set the green frame so that's what we're going to be changing then a comma and then the tween info which is this here so info and then a comma and the property table so what are the properties that we're changing so if you add a table with the squiggly brackets then in this table we're going to change the size so you set size equals and then this new frame size variable we created so now we have our tween what we can do is tween colon play in a pair of brackets so now we've got this we've got the tween to play so if we play the game now you'll be able to see uh, when I take damage, I step on this hit part, or this damage part, you'll see my health goes down and then slowly regenerates, and then it'll go down whenever I take damage. But currently, it's not showing us having any HP on this number. So, if we stop the game, and in this health script at the top, we're going to make a variable. I'm going to call it local last health. I'm going to set it equal to zero. So what we're going to be doing is changing this label to say how much health we've got but we want to make it go up by one at a time so we want to see if the current health is bigger or smaller than the last health because if it's bigger than the last health we want to make the number go up but if it's smaller than the last health we want to make it go down so for this we're going to use an if statement we're going to say if current health is greater than last health then and then if it's not we're going to have else and then we're going to run this code here so now we're going to use a for loop to change the text label. So we're going to say for i equals, and then so the last health is smaller than the current health. So we're going to say for last health, comma current health, comma one. So it's going from last health to the current health one at a time. Do we're going to change the label's text? So label dot text. Let's say equal to string i dot dots. And then quotation marks and then space hp and then we're going to make it weight one divided by and then a pair of brackets and then current health minus last health current health minus last health so what this is doing is it's going to say so for weight the fraction of the second so basically what this is going to do is going to make sure this entire for loop takes exactly one second to run and then all we have to do for this next one is copy it, paste it again, and then we're going to change that to minus one. So now that'll all change the text label correctly. And finally, we're going to add two lines, and we're going to say last health, and we're going to set that equal to the current health. So then every time it starts again, we will have what is currently the current health as the last health. So now, if we play it, you'll see that the health is going up. And then when I step on this, it'll go down to 80. And step on it again. As you can see, it's going to change. And there you go. So, that was how you make a custom health bar in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.